you're starting to blog for your office, do you need a dental blog for your website? Well, in this class, uh, we are going to show you the short notes of the Midtown Dentistry notes on how we do it at our office with our MidtownDentistry.com website. The most important part that we see doctors missing is understanding what a blog is. Blog really is a short of web blog and it is a regularly updated page or website typically run by one person, an individual or a small group that's written in an informal or conversational style. The whole idea is really to present to the world what your opinions are, who you are, something that you would be talking to your neighbor down the street with or somebody that you know that just for convenience you're using this as your mode of communication uh, just like in old days a phone call or just sitting at a coffee shop and speaking. Blogs are really an important way for dentists to get prospects or future clients or future patients relevant information that establishes them and their expertise, really saying that I know what I'm talking about. They also show your personality through your writing. You want to introduce yourself to people. People want to know who you are and whether you are a chef or a singer or a dentist, people that are considering you uh, to be a part of the people they transact with need to know who you are and then they'll decide if they are interested in having that transaction. Blogs are also an important way to build SEO value for your website mostly because they show that you exist and uh, the robots that read websites can say this is an active, uh, live, fresh, important, relevant piece of information or relevant website versus websites that have just been written 20 years ago and never changed and are totally irrelevant to the public. You also want to do something to stand out from the crowd. Remember there are thousands of practitioners around you that are just like you sitting in their offices waiting for patients and there has got to be a way for you to spiffy up your window to the public. In the old days people walked down Main Street and they saw your window and so you would window dress your window to stand out from the crowd. Well, the website is your window to the crowd and your blog is really all the extra spiffing up of your website for the crowd. Writing a good quality dental health blog and making it visible on your website demonstrates to people, to visitors, that your practice is actively helping the local people with their dental health, meaning you are active. You're somebody that is in the action and of course people, clients want to come to the coffee shop that has people in it. They don't want to come to an empty coffee shop. So this gives the impression that you are in communication with the public and doing things for the public. And in that aspect, the blog really helps you look like a lived-in website, like a live, fresh, up-to-date place that has relevant information. If you wrote a blog last week, that means you're still in business and you're hopping around and you're doing things versus the website that looks like it was so 1990s or 2000. Blogs uh, that do that really answer what clients want and what clients want from a blog, specifically a dental blog, is they want it to address their problems. They want you to talk about them, what's interesting to them. Write to them and about them. Don't write about the dentist. Don't write about the clinic or a piece of equipment. Talk to them about what is their benefit, what they need to know. And always stick to a single subject per blog. So many doctors write about a million things in one blog and get everybody confused. You want to write in a neat and clear fashion. Make it short, easy English with no typos or errors. If you have typos, errors, or your English is dentalese, people really get tired. They don't understand it or they don't respect it and they just leave it and they go look for something else. 
In other words, what your clients want really is a catchy title, something to get them to say, hmm, I'm going to spend four of my precious minutes looking at this blog. Uh, usually visual effects are mandatory, some good pictures and or a video in a blog are very important these days. Uh, people are tired of just reading, they're not used to it anymore, um, it just is the sign of the days. It has to be useful to them. They only want to read something that they can take away. So if you're going to teach them how to make their own mouthwash at home and save a gazillion dollars, they'll read it. But if you want to talk about some sort of research or something like that, they're not going to read it. Um, readability is very important. I'm not talking about grammatical perfection. I'm just talking about it being readable, quick, and easy. Uh, for more about that, I really recommend you watch a video by, by Colleen Sivu, The Four Ways Not to Get Dental Blog Reader, and the contact for that would be on our website. Examples of dental blogs, I want to show you the left versus the right. On the right uh, are things that I don't think would really pull your readers in, or crooked teeth, healthy teeth, how to clean your teeth properly, and the three ways to straighten crooked teeth. Uh, nobody's really going to look at that versus look on the left. The secret how to prevent bad breath. You're proposing to them that there is a secret they don't know. Um, how to floss better than anyone. Everybody already knows how to floss, but better than anyone gives a proposition that you're going to make that person better. And of course, can sleep apnea cause impotence? This is a blog I just saw. Um, yes, that does arouse some sort of interest in half of the population at least. So having said that, you want to write a blog that has four paragraphs. The first one that we just talked about was attention. Start with a headline, it's something, a statement that will grab their attention. Without that, you're not going to get them drawn in and they are not going to click and your job is to get them to click. Once they click, they might click away in a second. We've all gone accustomed to just surfing the web. In order to really keep them, you have to raise their interest. Build it by your opening statement with some data, some facts, or a testimonial or story that will make it interesting to them. Usually I recommend incorporating bullet points to make it both visually interesting and scannable so that they can scan and once they've scanned two or three bullets they've already raised their interest and now they're reading. Paragraph three will be the information with the desire. What do you want your reader or prospect to desire as a result of this blog post? Are you just writing this for general information or do you want them to actually call your office and ask for an appointment? And that's action in paragraph four. Tell them to act upon their desire. Tell them to call you or to click or to ask for more information. Anything that can get them <coughs> into your sales funnel or your appointment funnel or whatever you want to call it so that there is action that helps the patient and helps the doctor interact together. In uh, tips here, I'd like to tell you about a few things that will help your blog um, make it. One of them is including keywords that attract interest. That, of course, is important not just from an SEO standpoint, but it is important because the Google or Yahoo or Bing robots know what you're about, what does this mean, and where to kind of point towards you. Use subheadings to make it not just easy to read but understandable and use links to link keywords to related places in your website if you want people to continue browsing your website and finding more information and of course make some noise in your own livable social space so post your blog's URL link on all of your social media Google Plus, Facebook tell people that already know about you that you've written something interesting to get some traction it just takes a few people that spread the word to get these blogs lively and working well. For a sample of uh, a blog, here's a blog about managing upset patients that we use on our website. You can see that we are pulling people in to read. This is really for doctors. Um, we then have a class in what they will learn and the bullets really pull you in even more. 
you can see the link to uh, information that they can read additional material and then there's a video on the bottom so that they can really get drawn into the video. For more information about blogs, visit our website and visit our training section at midtowndentistry.com backslash training. See you there.